so today we are the Vice Chancellor's Mother's Funeral and as we can see from the background we have a lot of prominent people here with us so today we are here to show you what is happening live on the ground it might be a sorrowful day but it might be a memorable day because she's a lady that has led a life of legacy a woman that has brought a, a prominent person such as the Vice Chancellor who is now the first lady for the University of Ghana, first time in history. Our mother opened her home to many people and together with our father taught us to be generous. Her children are scattered far and near and together we form one big family. Our family has indeed lost a matriarch, but heaven has certainly gained an angel. Wherever we went, we knew we and our families could count on her support in prayer and physically. She was a woman of faith and her unflinching belief in God took her through the many challenges she had and gave us the strength to be a good support system. Now we know she is rejoicing with her maker at a place where there is no pain nor sorrow. Ma, you are the, def the definition of fierceness and resilience. You taught us to be democratic, to speak our minds and to be humane. You showed us we could acknowledge our challenges, but gather the strength to summon them. You cheered us on every step in our lives and we are so grateful. We would choose you again and again as our mother, and we feel so blessed that God gave you to us. He who began a good work in you has brought it to a perfect end. Philippians 1, 6. You fought a good fight, you finished the race, you kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4, 7. Your memory lives on, Ma. Continue to rest well. It is our hope that when the trumpet sounds, we shall see you face to face. We, you, we will wipe our tears and comfort ourselves. Your life was well lived. Ma, Nantiye, Yamin Fawusie, Nekukumu. With lots of love from all of us, Nanaba, Kofi, Ekua, and Kwesi. the final account all of us will one day appear before the great judge the almighty God to give an account of the life he has given us and as we see our mother lying in state and now in her coffin it should remind all of us that one day it will also be our turn. There are some cemeteries where you enter and when you are leaving, you know there's a sign up there as you are so we once were. So today you are sitting here I'm standing here to speak. Another time, it will be our turn to give a report to the Lord our God. Death is something that happens to everyone. If death could be bright, I am sure only the poor will die. If power could conquer death, 
only the weak will die. If the famous could escape death, the unknown people will be the only ones who will die. But this death is no respecter of persons. Whether you are high, you are low, he comes from you. He does not spare anyone. Sometimes we wish death will come for us in year groups so that it will come for those who were born 1910. Then at a point in time, all 1910 people will go. One day, one big flight will take every 1910 person away. But this death behaves in a way nobody seems to understand. Sometimes he takes the young, the very young, the old, the very old, the strong. There are some people who are too strong, who look too strong to die, yet they die. There are some people who have been diagnosed of having so many health problems that they should not be living beyond six months, 16 years after they are still soldiering on. So we have to understand that there comes a time when after all the maneuverings, the dodging, the movement that we will do, it will be our time. In secondary school, we watch a play, and one thing that I, remind, I remember from that play was there was a particular security guard and he was to arrest a man. And when he went, he said, Massa, your time catch. And so he dragged him and took him away. And that phrase, time catch, has stayed with me for almost 50 years. So, my brother, my sister, a day is coming when it will be your time catch. Sister Beatrice Abna Enima appeared to himself. We commit her body to the earth for which it was made. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes, and earth to earth. Christ was first to rise from the dead. And we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his own glorious body. Into your hands, O merciful Savior. We commend your servant, Beatrice Abna Enima Apia. Acknowledge her as a sheep of your own flock, a, a sheep of your, your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints above. Amen. Amen. The <laughs> Tibetan <laughs> 